going on Taha Photo here welcome back to another video this week is pretty simple we're just gonna get out and shoot and sometimes that's all you need a lot of these videos I'm helping with tips and tricks with street photography um, my experience with street photography you know motivation about street photography and life in general but sometimes you just need to go out and do the work or feel the process go through the process of street photography and the therapy that that street photography brings to me when I'm in the studio talking about photography a lot, I'm not out there doing, and I'm just like anybody else, man. You gotta get out in the streets and actually experience. That's the best way to learn and to keep your skills up. Learn new things, add new layers to your storytelling. And so I use the cameras that I've been using for a while now. So I got my Ricoh GR2, of course, as always and my Nikon Light Touch AF. This will be my film camera point and shoot. I really like them both because they are tiny. You know how I do it. I keep it simple, keep it small, keep it compact, and I just try my best to create moments. So I'll be doing a lot of that um, in this video, so I really hope you enjoy that. Let's get to the photos. Hey guys, I just wanted to hop in really quick and give you some context as to how I landed on this location. Basically, I didn't want to move around too much. I wanted to keep my storytelling focused and in one area. So this gentleman was like one of the first images and I just stood here and took a few different compositions. I was really happy with it. And so I just stayed there and let things roll out. And the same with this location here where um, I'm a block away from where you just saw that gentleman but the colors are so nice, I thought, let me just stick around on the sidewalk and see what I can come with. And it was a great idea, it was a great choice because I saw this gentleman from across the street and he was like at the parking meter. And then I thought, maybe he's gonna come this way and if he does, I'm gonna take a quick snap, which I did. I got a little bit low and I actually missed focus. The broker sign is actually in focus, but I love the scene. So it's one of my favorite photos from the day. And so as he was leaving, now it got too busy with all the colors. So basically, a black and white was the choice because um, it was a better focus for the eye. And keeping in the same context, same block, um, this van happened to come by and it really reminded me of my childhood. Not so much the van, but the colors. The yellows, exaggerated, saturated yellows and saturated reds and that faded blue. It really reminded me of like 1980 something and uh, I just wanted to, you know, document that because it meant something to me when I saw it kind of coming to life. And finally, there was this lady in the bus shelter and this gentleman standing kind of outside on the wall. And this was my favorite frame of the day. I just love her gesture and this gentleman obviously in the background. So yeah, I just wanted to give you a little bit of context uh, as you proceed through the rest of the photo roll. So enjoy.
All right, it's about that time. Question of the day. What part of your photography, street or otherwise, have you improved on in the last year? Sometimes we gotta give ourselves props, pat ourselves on the back. So, what have you improved on in your photography in the last year that you're proud of? Let me know in the comments below. So there you have it, another week out shooting. So one thing I do love about street photography, it really has opened me up to so many other types of photography. You'll see in the, in the upcoming videos that I love working with artists. I really do love taking portraits. So we're gonna focus in on that in the next few videos, just doing other things based off of my street photography experience and how it's bled into other types of photography. So I'm really excited about that. And when I do go out, I do have some goals, and one of those goals is to get one great shot. So if I go out and I get, say, even four or five images a month for a year, that's at least 50 special images that mean something to me, that resonate with me, and I get to put that in a book, or put them on my website, or share on social media, all because I got one moment each time I went out. So as much as I'm doing this for therapy, I also have some goals to attain, create, uh, make this a sustainable business. Many things that we'll talk about in other videos. I just want to focus today on just getting out and shooting. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Until the next video, stay creative and believe in yourself. Peace.